Hey go, Mick and Digger Mate here. In this short video, Digger Mate Ambassador and North Lakes franchisee, Wade Seymour takes you on board and shows you how to remove the idler wheel and clean out the piston to help you get your tracks on and off in the excavator much easier. So, um, changing tracks and uh, that one that's gone and pulling the idler wheel out for maintenance and cleaning. Um, obviously, they get jam packed full of dirt and uh, they should, you know, if they were new, they'd slide in and out by hand, but um, mine wouldn't. So what I did was I basically, you know, reverse the vehicle up, put the ratchet strap on and put a lot, a lot of pressure on the ratchet strap. And then all I did was you know, gently tap each side of the wheel, back and forwards and back and forwards. And you can see I made some marks there, just to see that it was moving out about a millimetre at a time. So, um, next thing I did was I got my uh, pressure washer and shoved it up inside and blasted a lot of dirt out. As you can see, it's, you know, the mud's almost turned to concrete. So I blasted it out then uh, after a little while of cleaning I was able to reach in and pull the piston out so this is the piston when you put the grease into tension the chain the grease goes in here and that pushes the piston out which uh, pushes against that spring that you saw earlier and tensions your tensions your uh, uh, tracks so I was able to pull that out and give that a clean and we keep moving. So the next thing I did was, uh, I don't know if you can see that, put the piston on the bench and I was able to pull the piston out by hand, um, mainly just for inspection. And I'm gonna run a little bit of emery cloth over this area here with a slight rust and pitting. Um, it came out very easy and clean and the seals looked to be in pretty good order. So there was no uh, grease leaking out the piston so I'm not going to replace the seals, I'm just going to clean it up and slide it back in. I would say, if you had trouble pulling that piston out by hand, you could just put the, uh, the grease nipple back in and give it a few pumps of grease and that would obviously force, the, force the, uh, the piston out. So, there you go. So once you've cleaned the piston up, you can, you know, put it back a lot further than uh, you know when when you got it out because obviously there's no no grease inside here, so I'm hoping that makes putting the new track on a wee bit easier. Well, that went on very easy. Um, yeah, I, 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 I've never actually put a track on so easy. To take that whole piston out, get rid of all the grease. It was really easy. Just um, a little tip, you know, put a piece of timber under the track to uh, take up the slack at the bottom when you're putting the track on, helps a hell of a lot.